Two at six, H&N investigates environmental threats at Radford High School near Pearl Harbor. Parts of the campus were built over a World War II dump site. Our Daryl Hoff talked to people who want the school relocated. It's been 10 years since repairs to this track led to the discovery that much of Radford's lower campus sits on an old Navy landfill. After millions spent in remediation, there are still many problems emerging all over this area. About uh, six months ago, our coaches uh, said that, you know, the court was basically collapsing. Redford High School Athletic Director Kelly Sir shows us how an otherwise well-maintained tennis court is settling, a large indentation that gathers water and hints of more trouble underneath. I, I know that uh, there's got to be air pockets, you know. Um, it's probably not filled correctly. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, a thousand trucks a day of debris were moved from the devastated harbor just uphill to what was called Makalapa Crater. The debris was sorted for what could be salvaged or burned on site. After the war, the crater was filled and flattened, and eventually Radford High and Makalapa Elementary were built. Radford's lower campus and the Makalapa playground were over the forgotten landfill. This was built on a dump, and when I represented the area, I didn't know that. So now it's reminiscent of Red Hill, 80 years of settling and things literally popping to the surface. Former area legislator Bob McDermott is helping bring attention to the issues. He made a video to describe a sinkhole at the edge of campus. Look how deep this doggone thing is. My goodness, my whole leg, I'm still not touching bottom. It's, it's ginormously deep. That hole was filled by a construction company already working on campus, but when we visited, all it took was a little foot pressure to show the sinkhole is expanding under a parking lot. Is that car gonna just fall right through? Somebody gonna get killed? After the Navy took almost four years to dig out the contaminated soils and rebuild the football field and track, the Army Corps of Engineers took responsibility for the remediation. Army Corps studies have identified large areas that could be subject to similar issues just under the surface. One recommendation was to dig the grass practice and baseball fields up and replace them with artificial turf. We're walking on the surface right now. Yeah, well, I don't know. The kids are playing on it. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I mean, we were, we were for it, Yeah. you know? The fear that even shallow excavation could unearth hazardous materials has stalled any repaving or irrigation repairs around the fields. The athletic director said it's all waiting for the Corps of Engineers or the Navy to produce a plan or guidance as the campus deteriorates. We really don't know who to call. I mean, a deal is out of the DOE's hands, you know. Um, we've been told many times, like, as you know, you know, eight years now it's been going on, Went on nine and nothing. That frustration is reflected in emails between DOE project officials. One planner wrote, I'd like to see this site mitigated in my lifetime, but I'm not confident it will. A project manager said, we are not able to properly repair the pavement directly in front of the gym without obtaining significant funding in order to mitigate the hazardous material, which he says the Navy should pay for. We've had uh, meetings. The last meeting was over two years ago, and uh, we just had a standstill. The Army Corps said it is still in the investigation and study phase and is working with the state health and education departments to build a plan to remediate the environmental impacts and reduce health risks to acceptable level. But McDermott, a veteran himself, says that is most likely not nearly enough. It's their dump. We paid for the school, and now we find out it's untenable. I would build a new school uh, close by on military property that's not contaminated. And the DOD needs to pay for it. So far, no one is suggesting that the students here are in any immediate danger. The fear is that long term, sitting on such an unstable foundation will continue to cause many ill effects. Reporting from Radford High School, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News.